I haven't felt like myself in two months. Even the sound of my own voice feels completely foreign to me. Uh, it almost feels like... Like, it feels like my eyes are being used to see things rather than me simply just seeing things. It's like everything is a tool attached to my brain and spe instead of me being a person in a body that just moves and functions it's it's like every action is a is a thought every action is like an intended um, command by my brain instead of just doing things uh, it feels like someone else is doing it um, I am suffering from something called depersonalization which is something on the dissociation scale of uh, anxiety where you don't feel real uh, and nothing around you feels real you even though I know who my friends and family are uh, when I look at them they seem like strangers to me like I've never seen them before uh, I know who they are, I know, I mean, I can list off information about them, and, um, you know, I have all of my memories of them, but they just seem like strangers. Their, their image just, they don't look like the people that I know them to be. And when I see myself in the mirror, I don't recognize that person anymore. Uh, and it's very isolating. It's extremely isolating because... it feels like you don't know anyone like you you don't know your friends and family those people closest to you and you don't even know yourself you can't trust your own mind you can't trust your eyes or your ears uh... everything seems false like you are in a dream or i feel like i'm having a bad high or i'm drunk all the time uh... it just seems like everything is a half reality and there's like this scale that I sort of use for myself of like how here am I today or right now a scale of you know zero to a hundred and you know at my best in the last two months I've been at 80 percent so even at my best I haven't had a moment in two months feeling like myself um, and at my worst, I've felt like 0%, like I am just gone, completely absent from the world. I read an article about depersonalization. Uh, naturally, I was Googling everything because I was convinced I had a brain tumor or an aneurysm or whatever else worst possibility scenarios I could have had. And uh, in this article, someone described it as feeling like their sense of self was so fragile that they felt like a single candle flame flickering and that at any moment they could just be snuffed out by the smallest thing and that they had to hold themselves in reality that if they ever let go that they would just lose themselves they would just simply cease to exist and disappear and at my worst that is how I feel and there are some days where as the day went on it just got worse and worse and by the time that it was time to go to bed I was convinced that I wasn't going to wake up the next morning or that the person that I knew was just going to disappear and it's horrifying to just feel like you're you're just going to cease to exist and I've tried you know a hundred different things to keep my mind off of it or to you know continue to function and I can function I can do everything that I used to be able to do I'm still cognitively I'm still here I can still function I can still laugh I can still have fun still hang with people I can still make music and you know play games and I can write I've been writing but I just am not myself it's like someone else is doing all of these things and they're just using my body to do it 
and it doesn't seem in any way to be affected by my mood, which is also very confusing because I've had anxiety for 15 years and it's typically affected by my mood or my circumstances and I've been able to just deal with it, accept it for what it was, anxiety, and let it pass. Depersonalization is not like that. Uh, it is 24 hours a day, every day, without relief. Um, it's It's crazy to think how much I didn't appreciate feeling normal. Just being able to be myself was something that I took for granted and it's not something that you can explain to somebody else who feels normal all the time. Um, you know, they just want you to snap out of it. And obviously I want to snap out of it. I don't want to keep feeling like this. So I'm seeing a therapist and I've had one session with her uh, where we just talked about everything that's been going on with me and stresses and events in my life and uh, she said it makes perfect sense that I'm going through what I'm going through right now that I went through an incredible amount of stress in a very short period of time and my brain simply disconnected, switched off, wasn't able to handle that amount of stress and just sort of made the decision for me that like no you're gonna you're gonna rest you're gonna take a moment to just disconnect for a lot of people they don't ever reconnect because um, that can take uh, years and years and years uh, if you don't get therapy and so she said I should feel very hopeful um, I connected with her right away and uh, she said it's going to take some time and, you know, different trial and error um, therapy sessions. But uh, I should be able to come out of this. And it was really nice to hear her say that I should feel hopeful because I have not felt hopeful in quite some time. Um, so anyway, that's what's been going on with me. That's why I haven't posted in six months. That's why you haven't seen much of me on social media or anything else. Uh, I appreciate all the concern and prayer and everything else that you guys have sent my way. Uh, it's meant the world to me and it has made me feel a lot less isolated uh, and a lot less alone. And I can't even begin to express how much that means to me. Um, you know, you guys have my back, so thank you. I don't really think I have anything else. Just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on with me. So, see you guys later.